Uh, here's Fred Rogers. Fred Rogers, you're on. Thank you for having me on the program, everybody. All right. Uh, it's The Calcium Bomb is the name of the book. Douglas Mulhall has uh, written it. Uh, what can we do for you, Fred? Hello, Douglas. Hi there. Hello, Ron. Hi. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. I heard about the calcium, and I was thinking that all my friends in the neighborhood drink milk every day, and we love it. Right. And I said, it's so good that you probably should write a book. Now, is, uh, but you're saying it doesn't come from milk, right, uh, Douglas? No, it absolutely doesn't come from milk. Uh, and uh, as I said earlier, one of the great mysteries has been uh, when you've got these normal levels of calcium in your blood, uh, people, as they get uh, older, Douglas. seem to get these, these uh, calcium Sorry. deposits. But Excuse also, me, a lot of athletes uh, get them. For example, you hear people who have tennis elbow. You get football Douglas. stars who have uh, calcifying uh, tendons. So this is not Douglas. just an older person's disease. Douglas? It's not just for older people. Douglas, Maybe it's no. in the Gatorade. Douglas, did you say, what was the word you used? Cal calcif what? Calcification. Calcif and it's again? commonly known as could, calcium deposits. Could, could you say it again? Yeah, calcification, except also it is known as calcium phosphate because it's a combination of calcium and phosphorus, which normally, of course, are essential for life. Every cell in your body uh, needs them to survive, but in this case, some of it goes crazy in the body. Excuse me, Douglas, could you say that again? It's calcium phosphate and calcification. I, I knew you could. I, here's <laughs> Dr. John. He's also on. Dr. John. Hey, uh, how are you guys doing? Good. So uh, I wanted to ask the author there. So uh, yeah. the role of calcium in atherosclerosis has been known for about 50 years. So I'm wondering, where's the bomb here, first of all? Second of all, where does this crap fit into uh, 30 years of knowledge on HDL cholesterol and 10 years of knowledge on homocysteine? Well, that's a very good question, actually, because uh, as, as you're aware, uh, calcification of the uh, coronary arteries has been identified as one of the uh, major factors in heart disease and uh, it has certainly been no mystery that this has been around for so long. The big mystery has been and no scientist has really been able to explain until now where in fact the calcium deposits come from. It has been theorized that they might come from precipitation, for example. It's been theorized that they might come from a response to infection, but there has actually been no cause of action, no mechanism of action shown until very recently that would indicate where the calcium deposits form at their very basis. And as you're aware, the most sophisticated sensing instruments that we have now, mostly the scanners, are only capable of seeing calcification at its later stages and cannot detect it when it forms in the capillaries, for example. So that has been a big problem in trying to find out where the cause actually begins. What about radar? Could they be detected with radar? Iris? Uh, thank you, Dr. John. Here is, uh, let's go to Jan. Jan, you're on with Douglas Mulhall. The name of the book is The Calcium Bomb. Hey, this is Jan. Hi, Jan. Hi, Dr. Mulhall. I was wondering, I'm a growing girl, and I'm worried about not having enough calcium that my bones could just shatter, kind of like the vase did when my brothers were playing basketball in the house. My mom always said, don't play basketball in the house. You're talking about something like osteoporosis? Right. Actually, just broken bones, because I know my mom and dad always make us drink our milk. I think that's what made my brother Peter so agile when he saved the little girl when the wall fell at Driscoll's Toy Store. Then he got the Good Citizenship Award from the newspaper at a $50 check. And then the lady showed up and said he could have any toy he wanted in the store. And my mom and dad only let him keep one, because it really went to his head. And no one showed up at the party that he threw for himself. <laughs> uh, Jen. Well, one of the things you may be talking about there, and uh, one of the things we mentioned in the book, um, is this problem that a lot of women have in osteoporosis, because at once they're losing the calcium from their bones, and then the oddest thing happens. It starts to show up in these calcium deposits in their heart and in the kidneys. And this has been another mystery. You know, why does it come out of the bones 
and go into the arteries uh, of, of the heart. See, I don't think it's just girls. I think it's boys, too. Because one time, Bobby got called shrimp, and he fell out of the tree when he was trying to climb up to the treehouse to join Peter's club, and he got a real fear of heights until his parakeet got loose, and he climbed out the window without even thinking to save his budgie. Could well, that help, um, Douglas? Well, um, the, maybe the budgie was calcified. Who knows? Right. <laughs> right well, th- what about this? Put you have some applesauce. All right, thanks. Is for- that good for your bones? Thanks for being on the show with us tonight, Douglas. The name of the book, The Calcium Bomb. Groovy. Uh, hey, pick this up anywhere, uh, Douglas. Any? You can, uh, yeah, you can get it at any bookstore in uh, Washington, and also you can get it uh, by going uh, to our website, which is www.calcify.com, and uh, it's uh, high up on the Amazon bestseller wow. list right now. Any chance this book will be turned into a movie? <laughs> well, actually, you know something? Uh, it would be nice if Discovery Channel did something like this. It would. One time, my brother Greg hurt his ribs playing football, and he wasn't allowed to play anymore, so they made him a photographer. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Uh, yeah, you uh, too. And let's, let's hope we get most of the politicians in Washington yeah. decalcified. That's right. Let's get them up off their asses, right? That's right. All right. See you One time, we had Brady versus Brady. <laughs> When my sister Marsha read against Craig for class president. Eric, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I thank you. Uh, take care. Thank you, Douglas. Your book's going to do a lot of good for a lot of people. I'm walking proof of that. Are you still being Jen? No, it's Fed. Who's the real you? Sometimes I don't even know. <laughs> hey, the Fred Rogers was pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Hey, I'm a new fan. Looks like Lumpy's getting off his butt. <laughs> Much like the politicians. Let's hope they get decalcified. Let's hope the fat cats in Washington <laughs> never get it. I always try, if you don't know what to do, turn it towards the bureaucracy. Right. Because someone's getting rich on this somewhere. Yeah, that's the only thing that you're allowed to say. You can't yell out, let's hope the Mexican-Americans will, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's only the politicians are the only ones that you can lump together anymore. Or the big-time corporations. Yeah, and cops. Anything yeah. that seems to be mainly white guys, you're pretty safe to attack. Anyone who's feeling all high and mighty <laughs> up on their high horse. Anyone who seems like they got a decent paycheck for themselves. <laughs> Take them down a peg or two. They're the ones that absolutely deserve it. All right, we're going to uh, take a break. We're right back. It is the Ron Fe Show. 